Here we are, Oceanside in Prince Edward Island. This week we're going to talk about ice cream, beaches, and big, big news about the house. Welcome to On The Move. We are Matt and Betsy, and we are on an adventure to relocate our family from Ontario to Prince Edward Island, Canada. And this week, we are in Crystal Beach Campground. And actually behind us, we'll see if it turns out in the, the whole exposure thing, but you can see we have the ocean right behind us. Uh, Crystal Beach is uh, somewhere around Malkeck Bay in Prince Edward Island. And we've been here for about a week now, and we've settled in and we're enjoying it. Our girls were a little skeptical at first. We moved from another location, which they had quite enjoyed, and I don't think they wanted to make the move, so they were finding everything to complain about, first of all. Yeah, but the... they've settled. Just a couple of things to share about the location we're at. So Crystal Beach Campground has a splash pad. Um, which it's Evelyn quite an ingenious to... splash pad. Well, it's I've like never... it raised. Yeah, they, they I think it was smart. It. So they didn't have to dig it all under the ground. They've no. actually raised it up on a platform. platform. So, so all, all the... the waterworks are underneath and yeah. the fun stuff's on top. So mm -hmm. Evelyn's been there to check that out. Heated splash pad, yes. too. She which... said the splash pad is warmer than the pool, which for all of you folks who are in London or probably anywhere else, splash pads are generally <laughs> freezing cold because yeah. it's just straight out of the, the city water. Um, but here it's heated. So she was delighted to find that. Um, heated pool, which is nice, and they also have so the camp sites themselves. This I would say it's kind of a split, maybe 70 40 permanent sites as well as um, vacation spots. So, going around and walking the dogs, I've definitely noticed that the permanent sites and even the, the um, week long ones they're large, so it's kind of nice. We actually have a little bit of space around our trailer, we've lucked out that. The site, the site beside us has only been occupied for a couple of days over the yeah, weekend. just the weekend. Yeah. So we continue to get this great view that we're really hoping shows mm -hmm. up for you. Yeah. Um, so that's been nice. The larger sites, the dogs have a little bit more space. Yeah. Um, Beautiful sunsets, too. We've had sunsets. some... It, it had been raining off and on a fair bit in Prince Edward Island since we got here, but this past week we've had largely sun, and so we've had these beautiful, beautiful sunsets that basically go right behind us, us here in, in the bay. It's, the water it's wonderful. gets lit pink, which I think is lovely, as we've discussed before. Pink is my color. Mm -hmm. um, what else is happening? Oh, the girls are happy because, of course, they serve ice cream. It wouldn't be a canteen if they didn't have ice cream. They do do some fried stuff up there as well, um, but we haven't tried that at all because it really is more of a, it's a canteen. It's not a restaurant this time yeah. on this property, mm -hmm. which is still great um, for when you're camping. Um, but yeah, not full out restaurant experience. We've discovered that there is this thing, there's posters around called the ADL Crawl. So ADL is um, a dairy grouping here. It's the Amalgamated Dairies Limited in Prince Edward Island. And we're quite appreciating their ice cream. We are fans of ice cream. I make ice cream. I we eat like, ice cream. <laughs> We, where we lived in London, Ontario, was quite an ice cream place, yeah. too. There were several different companies that made ice cream there. So we really enjoy ice cream, and we're enjoying the ADL ice cream. So and, they've, they've oh, got this yeah. crawl set up. So they've got, like, locations all over the island where you can go and, of course, get your ice cream. And our girls are right into this. Well, our oldest has mm -hmm. downloaded the map yeah. on her phone and is checking off every mm -hmm. time we show up at a location. Yeah, sure. She's keeping track of it for us. Um, I th there's lots of different flavors. I haven't been able to narrow in exactly how many. I did look it up online, but I couldn't find yeah. that specifically because we've had flavors that weren't listed there. So yeah, it's been what's been fun yeah. about it is that all the different locations we've been at. How many have we been now? I Do think you want to admit that. Well, officially, I think it's three from the crawl. Okay. But there might be some more ice cream places that aren't officially part of that. So right. we've been to several. Mm -hmm. And they so they. They actually carry different flavors. It's not yeah. like you get the same flavors at every spot. spot. And the other slight thing that's happening is there's a little bit of variance. So we've only been allowing our girls to get the single scoop because we don't, you know, we're eating ice cream a lot. We don't need double scoops. But the difference sometimes between the locations and the size of a single scoop is a bit disheartening for our youngest. She's finding this a little hard to take. Um, and the other thing we're noticing, too, is... If you order it in a cup versus in a cone. <laughs> yeah, our youngest is trying to work the system here. So she... so she went to one place, or we went to one place, the girls and I, one evening, 
they got cones and I got a cup. My cup was definitely more ice cream than their cone. So the next place, she's already, she's ordering a cup, no cone. She's going to get more ice cream, and she was rather disappointed. She kept it mostly to herself, so that's good. But I could see by the look on her face and her body posture that her smaller cup than her sister's larger cone was rather infuriating. <laughs> and the other place that you can get ice cream... Well, I mean, there are many places. But the other place we've been on the island that you can get ice cream is yes. Cow's Ice yes. Cream. And they're largely a maritime thing, Prince Edward Island particularly. But I did discover they have a couple of locations in another place. If you're in Ontario, where we're from, apparently in Niagara on the lake, Ooh. they have a location there. And now. going in here, like, they have the clothing, yeah. the, all the, like, merch the cups. Line. With, yeah, merch, that's what you call it. Yeah. Merch, I don't know my words. Um Swag. lines and stuff and but then they also have like the waffle cones are being made on yeah. site with, there we was... think with a hint of almond in them. yeah that would be my guess um and then like a whole counter of ice cream yeah. flavors and you can yeah. get the sprinkle dipped cones and the chocolate dipped cones mm -hmm. and and just lots of different yeah. varieties so i would say it's it's a little bit more i don't know can you do you say upscale or just yeah. fancy and, well the price reflects that yes, too it's exactly. more expensive too. it was more expensive but it was, it's, it's an still experience delicious ice cream yeah, but we will good. not be doing that one every <laughs> no. week like no. the other ones that we've been doing because mm -hmm. they do the other ones have had a quite a great price point as well for your single scoop you get yes. a reasonable amount of ice mm -hmm. cream for a reasonable amount of money so that's been fun for the girls mm -hmm. yeah so that's part of our discoveries this week we also have been going around and discovering because um, what goes with ice cream <laughs> or what Does goes it? with beaches ice cream I don't know you go to the beach and then you go get your ice cream okay. That's, yeah. sure. mm -hmm. so we've been to last week we talked a little bit about Beach Point which is where we started and uh, some of the good things about that so that's down by Murray Harbor yeah. not to be confused with Murray River although they are close to each but other different they are places. very different places yeah. yes and Beach Point I like Beach Point quite a bit. There's a range house yeah. there, which is kind of like a mini um, lighthouse. Yeah. I'm starting to learn about lighthouses. Mm -hmm. uh, the beach is a little more rocky yeah. than some, and definitely parts of it, like if you try to go into the ocean, there's a lot of rocks there. But you can also find places to get in where it's sandy, and when you get out, there's a couple of sandbars. That Especially are quite when the tide sandy. is out. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's I like that. When the tide is low, it actually uncovers a whole sandbar yeah. so that it's right out of the water that you can go out to. Our dogs quite enjoy yeah. being So out much there. quieter, a lot yes. less people there. And um, our girls appreciated that. And those who we did met, meet were, were locals, yeah. walking yeah. their dogs in the evening, a of fishing. Yeah. Um, some a group of ladies one day I could tell were just having a, a good old either a bunch of sisters having a family chat or just having some quiet time on the beach. Um, but definitely our local folks were, were at that yeah. one. Yeah. From there, we, uh, based on the recommendation of our real estate agent, actually, because yeah. she knew we were then moving to a different part of the island where we are right now, Crystal Beach. And we went to, well, we tried, first of all, to go to Cabot Beach. Um, right. And we, we actually... <laughs> Did not go there because our girls, day. they had, yeah. we'd been at Beach Point and they'd seen some people playing around on like floaty inner tube kind of things. And they thought, oh, we want to do this. So we got them each a couple of inner tubes. They blew them up themselves <laughs> um, with their own hot well, air. They blew them up in the trailer yeah. against our advice, reminding them we're traveling in a fit. So they wanted to see what they were like, blew them all up. Now it's time to go. And it clicks why we told them not to do it they can't fit in the back seat with their floaties fully inflated and themselves. So they half deflated them. Yes. Then yeah. we get to the beach. <laughs> this is Cabot beach that yeah. we're at. Hop out of the car. What do they do? They quick blow them back up again. And we walk across the field and the first or second sign I come to says no inflatables. Yeah. Um, which we discovered a little bit later. We didn't know that day because we were just, they were so put out. We just actually turned around and left. We didn't even go to the beach <laughs> that day. They were so well, determined. We did well, go to the beach, just not, not that, that one. one. So, so we, we yeah. well, maybe we'll come back to Cabot Beach yes, in a second. Yes, sounds so good. From there, we went to Thunder Cove, which um, is beautiful, but definitely this is a known beach yeah. in the area. There were a lot of people there, a lot a of lot. tourists there. We had to park a significant way down the road and walk. Yeah. And we were in it the middle hot. of... Yeah, oh, the, it was the, hot. the heat wave here has broken now, mm -hmm. but it was so hot. So, of course, we've been to a beach that didn't work out. Now we're walking half a kilometer, three quarters of a kilometer down a hot, dusty road. The sun is blazing. The dogs are hot and tired of being in any way. 
We got to the beach. The beach was gorgeous. Beautiful beach. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to go down a bit of a, a like a fairly steep slope to get to it because it actually it's, it's all cliffs it's around it. It's about an eight to nine foot kind yeah. of cliff you yeah. go over. Mm-hmm. So it's they not do have a little rope there descent, if you need but help. It is. Yeah. Um, but you had heard a story of a coworker from here who had taken her. 80 year old grandmother who was determined to go <laughs> but on the way back up she had to actually like push her back yeah up and, and when I saw and... it I thought oh yeah this is not this would be a challenge to get back out because of yeah. course it's sand too so it can kind of yeah. collapse into your feet exactly even my old senior dog I was like oh boy so I made sure it was clear to go and then it was like once she started don't stop just let her keep going mm-hmm. so, so beautiful beach lots of tourists fairly shallow very I mean it was also yeah. perhaps very busy because it was so, so hot, hot. Um, yeah, but the girls the enjoyed it. They could use their floaties. I think mm-hmm. that day, I didn't swim that day. You guys went out and played on a sandbar yeah. that was yeah, they quite had a, a ways out. There was a sandbar out there where the waves were breaking yeah. on it. Because we've actually had pretty calm waters. We haven't had really a lot have. of wavy uh, waters yeah. at all. As, as you can see out here right now, it's still pretty calm. Yeah. Huron's been, we find wavier yeah lake huron that is yeah sorry um, yes lake huron so it, we found some waves and they were crashing in those and quite having a lot, having of, fun. A lot of fun so mm-hmm. you guys spent probably you don't know 45 minutes to an hour out there yeah um mm-hmm. and then we headed back mm-hmm. and then so a few the next, days later yeah we found we went back to we thought okay yes. let's try cabot beach left the inflatables at home at home <laughs> And um, that's when we discovered I read the signs more thoroughly. Mm -hmm. So there is a significant riptide there. um, So that's why they don't want the inflatables, because Mm -hmm. they don't want people getting sucked out into the ocean before they realize what have happened. However, to sort of counteract that, what made me feel better is there is some significant sandbars there, but they have like quite a dip between so our youngest was basically swimming in a channel between the shore, which was quite a quick drop off. Like, like a couple of feet, yeah. a little bit more like we're used to on the Great But it only lakes. goes up to about four feet. Exactly, but she could still, so she could walk all the way to the sandbar and be on mm-hmm. it. But then I just felt a lot better with, she's, our, our girls are pretty good swimmers. We've Same. made an effort to make sure they can swim well. Matthew and I were both lifeguards as, as teens, yeah. so that's kind of important to us. Um, and then I'm also a little extra, when I read signs about riptides and, and undercurrents, I do pay attention to them and rogue waves. Yeah. They're not funny mm-hmm. things. Um, or... They're just, you should pay attention to them. And speaking of lifeguards, yeah. they actually, Had, because that's right. <clears throat> Cabot Beach is a provincial park. Right. So just a side note on that. So I don't know about provincial parks over the whole island. We haven't been yet. In Ontario, you generally have to pay to go to a provincial yeah. park. This particular one, at least, you don't have to pay have to, to go. That no. was nice. No. We were actually pleasantly surprised by that. And because it's a provincial mm-hmm. park, they provide a lifeguard as and, well. And facilities. On duty. Yes. Too. Yeah. So yeah. this is the first beach we ran into that had washrooms so yeah. nice. not that the lifeguard is a replacement for no, watching the children no. of course but at least there's and they have like a, a rescue boat there too because i think it, it's a real possibility that you could get into trouble yeah. if it's a wavy day yeah so had fun there the dogs enjoyed that one we mm-hmm. got the little one actually full-on swimming which evelyn was impressed she didn't realize you don't have to doesn't paint. take much with our, our little ones is <laughs> fear like this tall <laughs> he's part corgi um just realizing that animals can swim without taking lessons was a fun discovery too for yeah. her. Uh, what else? Oh, again, it is quite a tourist area. Yes. Um, oh, what I didn't say was back at um, Thunder Cove, the gentleman, you always have people chatting, especially when you have dogs, they'll come up with their dogs, was from Toronto. Um, so again, tourist heavy area. Cabot Beach was, we bumped into some folks from Quebec. So again, tourist area, not a lot of locals, um, but Quite, quite full, but not crazy full. We actually found no, quite in, a... No, in neither yeah. one did we no, feel crammed in. Not packed yeah. in at all. Yeah, no, both no. of those were... Definitely able to keep at least a 12 to 20 foot social oh, distance. Easy, easy. Yeah. So, yeah. again, there's cliffs at that one. Um, you and Lucy walked down to see sort of the end of the cliff and what's around it. And you just said there was a significant amount of beach, but not endless beach. So the beach is in vacation half that's what we've kind of covered but along with that over the last two weeks we of course have been trying to take care of the business end of life as well Mm -hmm. Um, so we definitely have some reports to go along with that Um, we arrived on the island with some home viewings set up to go some property viewings yeah as i had said in our last one our our, um, real estate agent had set aside some time for us she was eager to show us houses so we booked as many things as we could in a couple of days we even looked at some things that had been on the market for a while that we knew but had been hesitant to 
see, mm-hmm. especially when we couldn't physically see it. But now that we had arrived on the island and we could physically go, we decided to go and, and check them out. Just, you know, you never know when you might find a surprise in person. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so we did that. Yeah. And I think the low for us collectively mm-hmm. was the fact that we went to see all these places and none of them were right for us. No, just not a good fit. Yeah. Location didn't match with the house. House didn't match with the location. Um, just, we, yeah, it, seeing things in person also gives you a very realistic perspective of what yeah. you might need to do to take care of a property, yeah. too. It took a deep breath and some help from friends yeah. and families to realize we are very blessed and we have lots and we are yeah. set up for right now and we're okay. Yeah. And that what is right for us is coming. We just had to rethink and yeah. wait yeah. also on the other hand too i think it also helped us to define what we actually were looking for yes. and interestingly enough it gave our girls a voice i don't think we had when we were just looking online and doing tourists or not tourists pardon me looking online and doing viewings with our agent we didn't have the girls in the room with us seeing these houses yeah. so suddenly they're there and they're having a voice and they're having thoughts and emotions and feelings about a place because some of it you get you just get vibes off of places too so it was really good to have their input recognizing yeah. that they're going to live in this place as well and mm-hmm. we want them to feel at home as much as possible so we were able to define some of those things that were important to us and to them that we maybe hadn't really put together so um, definitely yeah. things about location not too close to roads like highways um, yeah. size of property too yeah. we, we had looked Open at one that was on the property. fairly small property yeah. and we realized no we do want a little more Larger. space yep. than that yeah um, even if it means more lawn mowing i think it just we were looking for a sense of, of space so that was nice and then along with space once we got inside them too realizing that the open concept is actually quite valuable to mm-hmm. us i had in mind that i wanted a cute hundred year old multi-room you know lots of sweet little corners and spaces but when i actually got into them i realized oh this really is quite separate and maybe more so my oldest daughter was able to voice that it's quite important to her to have open space to feel like we can be all together yeah. as yeah. a family and then driving around the island because we looked at houses in a couple of different areas of the island we we zeroed in on the the actual yeah. sort of county or area of the island that we would really like to be in as well so we started focusing on just watching for houses in in that, in that area. area and that took a bit for me because especially when we've been waiting for months i'm already apprehensive about waiting and now i've shrunk the location i'm willing to look at so there's a few times i wanted to push back on that but matthew was good to encourage me and say no you this if this is where you want to be we have to be patient for this area so mm-hmm. yeah that was good so moving from that to the what our collective high is and this is for real this time no for joking real, yeah we bought a house <laughs> for real this time. we've been through the home well, inspection we've been yeah so. we, all the major things major are, are done are on it we still have to it is a country property so it, it's on a septic system we have to get that checked uh, yeah. as well. That's going to happen shortly. But that one, I think, even if it's a problem, we'll, 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 we'll work deal with it. Well, and that's yeah. the thing. We mm-hmm. saw the place, so we were able to go, okay, we can see right in front of us what needs to be done. It is a laundry list of love that yeah. Yeah, this it's, place it, needs it's to a, be. You, yeah. It's definitely, I think, classified as a fixer-upper. Fixer upper. But yeah. we'll do it, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But it has great bones, and even our home inspector was able to affirm that yes. for us, and yeah. that's what we were looking for. So now the challenge is not to, it's so tempting to want to rush in and do everything all at once and, you know, turn it into this brand new beautiful place. But we, again, Matthew was looking into kitchen design. Yeah, we, I yeah. want to do the kitchen, and the kitchen does need to be not done, not just that I want to. It does I need like to be done. Kitchens. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, like many things else in our current um, COVID area, COVID, yeah. uh, there there's a delay on the kind of kitchen stuff that I want to get, so I can't even get it. Manufacturing and do it right. delay. Yes. So yeah. you really just so we decided just this morning officially we'll take a deep breath. We're gonna get creative with making cupboards and stuff that are on the older side work a little longer. We'll do a little uh, just really good cleaning and some replacement of certain aspects anyway we'll get into those details later so it needs a little love but we're excited to love it and great bones and Mm -hmm. fantastic amount of natural light which thrills my right on top of a hill Um, one of the high points in the area actually 
So we so really we're nice excited. Food. Yeah, we're excited. Very excited. Yeah. yeah. So we're now going to be proud members of the Belfast community yeah. in Prince Edward Island. Yeah. Um, excited about that because yeah. we, we again, we were driving around the area, saw some businesses in the area and some people. And um, I think it's a community that will fit really yeah. well. With. It's not tourist area no. of PEI. <laughs> not at all. But we're not interested in tourist area. We well, there is a little bit of attraction to tourism in the area, but largely it's a, a think, rural community. Sorry, I should clarify. Yeah. So for our everyday life, yeah, we're not looking for super crazy no. amounts of tourism. No. no, no. There's definitely some great businesses in that area that will bring tourists, and mm -hmm. we'd love yeah, them to I'm come sure too. I'm sure we'll talk about those. But later. we weren't looking for like. There was one area we went to. It was very much cottage country. Yeah. Um, some other areas you go to, it's very much beach focus. Yeah. This is neither. This is. I'm going to call it country cottage property is kind of what we're going for here. We're yeah. excited too, because now we can zero in with an address and register the girls for school. So mm -hmm. that will make them yeah. feel. Yeah. We're starting to already better. change some things over because I had to look at insurance for the home. And at the same time, she's realizing the insurance lady, well, now you're going to have a PEI address. That means we need to change your car insurance as well yeah. to go with that. So that's, we're already in the works with, with that. Some of that we'll stuff. We'll have to do licenses and such. I'm looking forward to not having an Ontario license plate on my car. I have nothing against Ontario, but when you're driving around another province, having a different province's license plate, you just, there's no way you can claim to be a local. So I want mm -hmm. to get that off my car and start the process of becoming, when people ask, where are you from? I can say, I call Belfast home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for the next two weeks, because what we've done here, fortunately with this place, we were able to ask for a very quick closing on it, which they were amenable to. Yeah. And we've learned that really the fastest you can close is like two to two and a half weeks. Yeah. And we, we're hitting that as, as close as yeah. we possibly can. And that basically can. comes down to meeting conditions and lawyers, lawyers being able to do title searches and what they need to do. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so we're going to, for the next two weeks, we're still in trailer uh, for sure. And we're gonna we booked two more places to go, which we'll, we'll probably to. review we'll and talk, on those talk about been those there. and <laughs> been there. And then we will um, go to our home um, in about two weeks' about time two weeks. now. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. weeks and a couple of days. We'll we'll be there. So yeah. we're very excited we're about excited. that. Just in time to be there before everybody starts school. Yes, I'm not that, that's also what we're gonna have to do in the next couple of weeks. We yeah. actually have to start, uh, this is very sad for me, starting to think about yeah. school. Actually, I did um, meet with a couple of coworkers in the public school branch here mm -hmm. in um, PEI. The, the lady who I'm taking over for uh, at the school I'm working at and the one who will come after me because yeah. mine is just a contract position. So it was nice to meet them, talk about uh, shop talk, with them as well and start to mentally prepare myself for that. And we're going to have to do that with the girls too and do some back to school shopping yeah, and things as well. Stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're on our way to becoming residents of PEI. Yay. Yeah. So thanks again for all of your support and love and for watching and stay posted. Yeah. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.